accommodations and supports. We will now discuss some resources that are available to candidates in the licensing process. The Law Society has financial assistance programs in place to assist candidates in the process. Information regarding the Law Society's monthly payment plans, which are available to lawyer and paralegal candidates, is available online. Lawyer licensing candidates may also apply for the Law Society's repayable allowance program. Please note that there are deadlines associated with each of these programs, and they are outlined on the Dates to Remember section of the website. Candidates should be mindful of those dates when making arrangements to pay so that they do not delay access to the study materials or lose their ability to register for an upcoming examination sitting. The monthly payment plans allow you to pay a licensing examination, study material, or for lawyer candidates, experiential training fee in preset equal monthly installments during the licensing year. You can select whichever plan suits your needs and you are eligible for. Please be mindful not only of the enrollment deadlines and the start date of the program, but also the payment plan end date, as you won't be able to be licensed until the plan is over and the fees owing are paid in full. The Repayable Allowance Program for Lawyer Candidates is a loan program. A loan can be granted if a lawyer candidate meets the required criteria and has exhausted all other avenues for funding of licensing process fees. Accommodations. In addition to financial assistance, the Law Society also offers candidates who meet the posted requirements licensing examination accommodations. The examination administration team includes staff dedicated to implementing accommodations for candidates who require a licensing examination accommodation based on a ground listed in the Human Rights Code. Candidates who require an accommodation must provide supporting forms and documents at the time they submit their application to the licensing process. In some circumstances, candidates may not be aware of their need for accommodation at the time of application, and in such cases, candidates may apply as soon as they become aware of their need so that staff have sufficient time to review and assess the submitted documentation and also develop an appropriate accommodation plan. The deadline to submit a request for accommodation for a newly recognized need is posted online under dates to remember. And detailed information is available in the candidate support section of the website. Accommodations are also available for other candidate activities. For example, an accommodation may be requested in respect of a candidate's participation in the Law Society ceremonial call to the bar process. While requests for accommodation for the licensing examinations are managed by a dedicated team, requests for accommodation in connection with activities other than the licensing examinations can be submitted directly through your online account. Another support available from the Law Society is tutoring. If you are unsuccessful on an examination, you can reach out to the licensing and accreditation department to obtain up to five hours of tutoring paid for by the Law Society once you have registered and paid for your next attempt at the exam. Please note that requests for tutoring are only accepted until the posted deadline for each licensing examination sitting. Please see the website for additional information on any of these candidate supports. If you have questions, please contact the Licensing and Accreditation Department.